morning, everyone. Good morning. I hope everyone had a fun time last night. Didn't stay up too late. So we're ready to get started with our Unity and Re Re Remembrance pro part of the program. And um, at this time, I'd like to bring up Linda Reinstein to provide opening remarks. Phew, we did it. And this is the best part of the conference where we kind of come together, quietly sit, reminisce, strengthen friendships, and look towards next year. But before we get started with Jordan's interview and Hollow's film, Song by Jill, of course, Candle Lighting, led by Ellen C T, I just want to go through. You've seen all these slides, some of these slides from yesterday, but it's really important for those who might not have been with us yesterday that they get a sense of who ADOO is with our education, advocacy, and community efforts. Again, thanks to Sue Ann and Zeal, we are live streaming, so please get social. I know my girls at that center table will be tweeting and snapping and doing, but we invite you to use the hashtag, which should be actually 2017 ADAO. We had amazing sponsors and volunteers and leadership that made four events possible. Um, and with regrets, I want to again mention Kim Kajekny, Herman Hamilton, Michael Harbett, Anna Marie Kearns, Doug Larkin, Barbie McQueen, Christine Oliver, Ann Samuelson, Betty and Robin Tucker, and Paul Zagabalm that were unable to be here physically, but I know they were here in spirit. And hopefully they'll be joining us in 2018. Uh, this morning we finished uploading our program. For those of you who want to share this program with your family and friends at home, uh, you can. So it'll be in a magazine format. Um, and watch for an email today which thanks you for being a participant. And the link for the program will be there so you can socially share and enjoy it yourself. Um, we couldn't have done it without our sponsors. We just couldn't have. Um, and thanks to Motley Rice, Simmons, Hamley, and Conroy, Simon Greenstone, Panettiere, and Bartlett, and of course, Early Lucarelli, Sweeney, and Meisenkoten. So I, I hear your applause. Thank you. Let's give it. I don't know if Erin is here this morning. I don't see her. But uh, yesterday's lunch was hosted by uh, Simmons, Hanley, and Conroy, and today is Motley Rice hosting. Would you like to say a couple words, Erin? Erin, <laughs> you're the director of communications. <laughs> That's a very good recovery on the answer. Erin, would you like to say a few words about being of a brunch? Course. There we have it. Of course. Good morning. It's so great to see so many of you again. I was here two years ago, and it's just, um, this really brings it back for us. You know, um, our attorneys here, Tope and Natalie and Ann here, sends her regrets. She had to get on to uh, West Virginia, I think, to represent some clients. Um, but this is, this is why we do it, for everyone who is living it, to everyone who will be living it. Um, so thank you all for everything that you do. And I was serious of my question, you know, when, what else can we be doing? Um, this is one thing and we try to do all sorts of communications and stuff like that. And it's only gonna, it's only all of us from the different parts of advocacy that are gonna make change happen. So thank you for all that you do. Thank you. Come on, you don't get off there without a hug. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and yum, my breakfast is great and there's nothing like Marriott's bacon, especially for a Jew. Um, so. <laughs> Just any, so, so thank you, and again, thank you to Simmons and Motley Rice for our meals. Uh, Sue Ann Taylor, you have a big crew, and you you were sort of like hobbled without having Nina. So please, you and your crew, stand up so we can applaud you for your uh, AV work. ADO believes that two words together make a powerful statement. It's thank you, and we thank many people today. Um, and the Maconey Agency did our Global Asbestos Awareness Week PR, and we were able to reach, I think, over 40 countries. We're waiting for the impressions and all the analytics. But we translated uh, documents into five other languages. So English and five others went around the world all about raising asbestos awareness for the entire week, the first through the seventh. And Mavis, you're probably there. So Mavis and Lou and others, can we give a little round of applause for Mavis and Lou? Uh, 
uh, Earl's exhibit I is amazing, and I believe everyone's had a chance to look at it. But if you haven't, before you pop upstairs, take a look. I mean, this was dedicated to Senator Boxer for a reason. It's a legacy exhibit that Earl's put together, and it is astounding, Earl. I still get chills, and I remember when we first began, when you sh talked about the idea, and what you've created, to me, is a legacy to all of us. And I thank you, really, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, Earl. I'm looking for Tony, and I don't see Tony. Um, I know he tore his exhibit down last night. I don't, I didn't think he was hitting the road, but uh, let's have it on film that Tony had that curio cabinet in the back with artifacts. <laughs> so the last thank you is, I mean, I started to get tearful because like having a baby, and I know, Jess, you know, you remember this, you're not too far out from that, but so many people have worked over a year on this project, so I'd like the entire ADO committee who's worked on this from programs to logistics, everything, Ellen, could my, the entire committee please stand up so we can thank you, please. <laughs> Romani, Ellen, Brad, Ellen. Most nonprofits hire out a conference planning committee. They have a staff of eight to 10 and a working office, and we don't. That's why we're able to fiscally do what we do and move like a jet ski instead of a Titanic. So <laughs> we, we need to have your help in allowing us to keep maneuvering and messaging so we can raise asbestos awareness and prevention efforts. Um, without any more being said, Jordan is sitting there. Jordan decided instead of a keynote, he said he'd like to just do an interview format. So we're going to do just that.